Alright guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with Crymo. Yeah, there it is. There she is. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this thing... This is not... This is... This is not fun. This is not, not fun to clear out one of these things at all. Um, I am so glad it's done and I am really stoked that it's in, in here, in this... Uh, island thing and uh, you guys oops let me grab some uh, some ender pearls here so I can get around I had to make a staircase right here just to get down to the bottom um, at any rate uh, this is cool it's all cleared out lit up I don't think anything can spawn here I threw in this uh, the blue glass because I kind of had this idea that it would be so cool to sort of from certain angles I almost here's another idea I have um, now I did I did uh, I, I asked you guys for some of your opinions on what you think we should do with this island here and uh, thank you so much for all of your great responses um, super cool thank you guys very much and I think the uh, the raining topic of course uh, or the the uh, the top <laughs> the top seems like the top the top most uh, commented thing was uh, was pirates so I think pirate theme is cool but someone mentioned a volcano and I think that is a super rad idea. I never considered doing a volcano, so I think that is a must. So sunken shipwrecks, volcanoes, and possibly some sort of like, I mean, this is a weird, crazy, you know, temple that's discovered under the island. So there is gonna be, maybe I'm thinking some, some, I don't know, some, some sort of mysterious elements or something that we can kind of make this thing look like it's, uh, overgrown and and I had one idea um, I don't know I'm a, I might try it out I wasn't sure about the spawning mechanics but I, I considered um, I'm considering trying out maybe putting one layer of this blue glass right across the top here starting at, on the topmost block and filling in this entire uh, area all across with blue glass and then putting one layer of water on top of that. If we had this weird appearance that the uh, temple was still submerged from outside viewing, um, I don't know, that might be pretty rad. That might be kind of cool. Obviously this here, I mean, it doesn't look like what it is. You can tell it's glass, but you know, with the seamless texture going on or whatever that's called, the connected textures, it kind of works okay. I mean, you kind of can see it and, and I try to try to build it up a little bit down there. Just a little bit of terraforming, very, very minor. But just to give the idea that maybe we make this look like it's still, you know, in, in underwater down there. I thought that would be kind of cool. But anyway, definitely pirates, volcanoes, mysterious island, all that stuff is super, super cool. Great ideas. Um, and massive, massive, massive project coming up here to do. Um, so that's good. We'll have something to work on in the future for sure. Um, but today, we are not going to do that today. Um... <laughs> I try to, I don't want to get ahead of myself on too many projects. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to travel back. Let me make sure I go, the, I always go the wrong direction. I don't know why I think it's this way. So it's it's actually, yeah, the, this corner points back towards the direction we have to go. Yeah, we got to go that way. So um, anyway, guys, thank you for, for coming back for another episode. I, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad you guys are here. And uh, let's go and um, we're going to go and uh, finish the Mesa Outpost. We, I, I really have a, a thing with um, trying to get things done and completed. Usually I'm not very good about that. But in this Minecraft series, it sort of made me feel that way where I, I kind of dislike leaving things hanging. Um, I know it can be boring ending up working in, in one spot for too long and even this talk right here where nothing is loaded is probably not the most opportune place to do a, a talk. But anyway, um, we're going to go back to the Mesa Outpost. I'll meet you there and we're going to finish out the outpost. We're going to finish the fort interior decoration. All the buildings and stuff that go in there. They're just a few. They're just small. But we'll knock them out and um, yeah, well, anyway, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you out at the Mesa. See you in uh, one second. All right, so just one wanted to cut back into the to the uh, journey right here because we haven't seen our little Mesa station in a while. I really like it still. It's it's so yeah, it's just so cool. I think we did a good job on this one right here. Well, we're gonna finish up this outpost here. Um, you know, we're not done in the Mesa by any means. You know, we still have to do some. We still got to do some some roads out here, some bridges, and some 
some tunnels and other things, so plenty to do in the Mesa, but at least our, our outpost will be sort of complete. So these buildings uh, that I'm gonna finish out here in the outpost, this is not even right. What the heck is that? Oh, that doesn't even need to be there. Um, yeah, does it? Uh, so this bit here, um, I'm gonna add three structures, actually four four structures here. Now these might be slightly controversial um, in so far as the content that they present. Um, well, anyway, they're just but they're just simple. Um, but I always have a problem with doing things that are just purely decorative. Not a problem. It's just for me, it's hard for me to. I'm like, well, I want to use the thing. I want the thing that I built to be usable for something, right? So if it's pure decoration, um, I don't know. It's like you build it and then you forget about it, but then it's, I don't know. That, that's for me, it's just a weird thing that I have. All right. Okay, well, here we got the first block. It's gonna mark out this first structure I'm gonna build right here in this corner. We're gonna build something right here. And then uh, we'll build the, the little, the yeah, the small stables uh, right over here. I'm gonna try to build these on camera, but I'm I'm not good at that, as you guys know. I have to cut it while I talk over certain things, even though I, I build the whole thing while I talk, and then I my editing process sort of marries the two together because, yeah, I'm just not uh, I'm not I'm not super great at uh, doing this here. So let's uh, one on this side, and then of course here we will put another one. This is going to be. Let's see if you guys can figure, you guys can figure this out in just a second. Let me see if I can get uh, let me get the four corners put in, and I can see where my boundaries are going to be. Yeah, another little tidbit about um, some of you guys were suggesting pirates, and now we're here working in the mesa, which is uh, of course our western themed area. And um, of course, I've been talking about Westworld in almost every episode, just because it's it's been sort of relevant because we've been we've been watching it. Michael Crichton, the uh, author of Jurassic Park, uh, but he also created the original Westworld. Um, movie and he did so uh, he said he was inspired by his first ride on the Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland and he was like oh what if these things came alive <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool um, pretty interesting and uh, you know I know greenhouses are not not uh, not a, they're not a normal Old West thing by any means I, I realize it's very much an anachronism but so is like I mean hey man it's Minecraft right we're sort of fantasy based anyway. So uh, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna do alternating rows of, what do we got here? We've got, um, I'm gonna have some wheat. And maybe we'll vary this one up a little bit. We're gonna have wheat and potatoes and corns. That way, you know, we have something sort of going for food and horses. Maybe these will actually do like that, so it looks like, yeah, there we go. Get this cool little, uh, you know, the stairs, the upside down stairs puts this little detail underneath, so it's like the uh, supports for the for the porch itself. So we'll do glass panes. Yeah, it might just be three, and then we'll put the roof coming off like this. It's very difficult for me to concentrate while I'm building. I, I, it's very hard for me to build on camera while I talk. Um, because I either stop building so that I can talk, or I um, <laughs> or I stop talking so I can build and you know make decisions in my head, and I just don't. Uh, yeah, it's not uh, just tough. It's tough on me. So I'm not. I don't have that skill. Like I think Iskal is amazing at what he does because. Um, yeah, that, that, that guy can certainly, he just can build and talk and he can design and everything while he's talking. He has a very, very, I don't know, his brain works in, in a very different way than, than my brain my brain works. So that's the wrong spot. <laughs> there we go. And maybe we'll put one up here, one like this. Yeah, let's do that with a little wraparound, a little banister. And there we go. And then we can put up um, some torches here. No, there, there. Yeah, that'll be good to light it up there. And let's see, we're gonna have to fill in something on the ground here, of course. Um, let me get in the rest of this glass. And then, um, yeah, there we go. So um, anyway, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about the, uh, about the, uh, the ocean monument area and doing that a sort of pirate themed build and everything 
I'm actually very excited and and a little a little frightened. Um, it's a pretty large area. No, let me let me take that back. It's a very large area. I've never done anything to that scale. I mean, terraforming an entire island, doing shipwrecks, and uh, I mean all sorts of things like that. I, I've never done anything on that scale. So I think it's a it's an awesome challenge. I'll have to work out a plan so that uh, I can see what we're gonna do. All right, let's throw one chest out here because this isn't a high, a high, a high yield farm, so to speak. Um, well, specifically not so to speak. This is definitely a low yield farm, of course, right? Um, we just want to have it. Uh, it's just a little. It's just a little thing. It's a little personal farm, just for the guys that that uh, work out here at the outpost, which at this point is us, of course. But um, let's do this. We'll take that one out and that one. We'll throw in our our. our things there and then how about oak leaves and then that on top so that's a little better we just see a little bit of the glow down there but if you come in just straight you know you won't you know we go in here ah, we still see it a bit I don't know I just wanted we obviously need to light it in here so that we don't have mob spawning so fill this in here okay and there we go and I just want to see if we thought we want a border in here like I could bring in no I think this looks pretty good it's very open, very open, like a greenhouse should be, I, I suppose. Very open and very out of place. I know you guys really might dislike this particular thing here, but you know, let's just see. We don't need too much light fill here, so I was gonna try this out. Oak leaves, and then how about jungle leaves on top? There we go, right? Hides it pretty well. Put another jungle leaf down there. So next, uh, I'm gonna build uh, like a tower thing right here. And I don't know, maybe I'm gonna knock this one out in a little montage. Double chest, okay, cool. Um, we're also gonna put another one here and some decorative chests down here, I think. Just more storage stuff. Um, I even brought an anvil, so we could throw an anvil in here like that. Um, you know, just, again, stuff for some decorative stuff. But this is actually gonna be, um, let's see, where is it? There we go, some hoppers. So I thought we could maybe uh, put one of our Ferni here, well, to use an Iskal term, uh, how about a, a Ferni um, for uh, industrial purposes? And uh, oh boy, that's not right. But yeah, I thought um, you know we, we need a, a faster a fast cooker here. We don't have one, and this isn't you know industrial or anything. And then uh, I just want to put these here. Oh, and I threw my carpets away. Um, but let's put these here. There we go. There, and these are trap chests, so nothing will go in there until you close the chest, of course. And then up here, I don't know. Well, I can put another, yeah, I can put another chest up there. All right, well, I pulled a big crying mo there, and I put 
uh, forgot to unpause my recording software when I was working on the roof there. But right here, I was thinking maybe for some reason I felt like we needed to put, I don't know, a little bit of this muddy dirt there. Just sort of maybe it's trampled or there's water that flows around there. I'm not really sure why it's there, but yeah, anyway, so a little decorative hay block in here, decorative anvil, um, kind of go up here and then uh, got our torches up here, little storage chest, and uh, of course our, our wonderful little powerful, our little speedy stove here. And then I was thinking maybe we just leave this pane of glass out, it sort of gives us this rustic feel that's sort of, I don't know, it's kind of wrong, I just don't have one on me, but it's kind of, kind of interesting to leave it open like that. Now I do have some more stuff to add just to the outside because right now the outside is very plain. Okay, well there we go, we got those done, uh, the window treatments up there, so now it's not too plain up there. It is still pretty plain down here, and so I, I'm kind of a fan of this, but not really. Um, I just everyone does it, and I think it will be awesome if we ever <laughs> get trap doors that can be like wood specific. I think that would be really, really awesome then. Um, for now though, since they're all just standard, they're just like that. We could also retexture them, you know, but everyone uses B-dubs texture of just the plain wood, which I think would be awesome. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you don't want that wood texture and then what? You're just stuck with it, right? So, I don't know, we don't build everything in a rustic, you know, view, so, oh, with a rustic design aesthetic, so I don't know. Anyway, there we go, so there's our tower with our uh, in our speedy stove in it. And so that's the purpose for that building. So we have to go up there and use it. But you know, it drops items right into the bottom chest here so we can just grab them when they're done. So I think that's a-okay there from whenever we need something like that. Now, uh, let's build the stables here. I'm gonna knock the stables out real quick here. So we do like this, cool. I don't know, it looked like some sort of hanging things. I'm not sure what exactly that's all about. How about uh, one of these and then even maybe a tool down here. Some shears hanging and then over here in the, how about that? Just another little tree growing there. Some more bushes there. All right, so I think, um, yeah, again, this is very simple. Very simple to stable, very uh, light decoration, but I think it'll work just fine. If we get some horses in there, we would be in good shape. So how about I go grab three horses and uh, we'll see how many of them I can get through the nether without them uh, without them dying. That's a long trip, man. <laughs> Excellent. Man, we are, well, three for three. That is not too, not too shabby at all. Okay, guys, well. There we have, there you have it. Horse transportation successful through the nether. So now everybody should try it. I'm just kidding, don't try it. Don't try it ever, it's very, very dangerous. There is one last little thing I was gonna add and let's see, I'll go ahead and do it. It's very, very simple. Um, let me see, it's a uh, mm, three by three. Is, that, is it right up here? All right, well, this is uh, just something I think that we, we would need, um, right? I mean, every place needs a well. And what we need for practicality is we need an infinite water source to fill up buckets or whatever. There we go, all right. There's our little well, okay. And um, perfect, so we have an infinite water source nearby. Go in here, we can grab anything with a bucket or whatever we need. That's good to go. We have our access hatch right here. We do need a torch in here. That's, um, that's to that. There we go, a little torch, I think that'll be fine. As far as lighting goes. All of our lighting here should be fine. We have stuff all over the floors. Yeah, all right. So, um, and the last thing I was gonna do, but I won't do it today, and maybe someday we'll add it, was a little bonfire right here. I wanted to come up with like sort of a, a cook pit, 
a barbecue pit sort of a thing, but I was having trouble with the design for that. Um, since you can't like attach, iron bars won't attach to fence. And uh, of course they don't lay lateral, um, horizontal. So it's kind of stuck um, coming up with stuff for that. But anyway, guys, all right. Well, the Mesa outpost, the fort is done. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. It feels very rustic has everything we need in it um, from an infinite water source to a fast cooker to a little greenhouse to horses um, to a collection and organization system storage system it even has decorative items like our water trough for our horses uh, things like that and of course our nether portal and it's all lit up and protected just like a fort should be with an awesome high wall and towers and I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during this process and seeing this thing kind of come to fruition. I'm not still, I'm not entirely sold on the yellow clay here. I just noticed that again. Um, we might come in and remove that one day and just see what it looks like without it. Maybe now that we've got Podzel going around in different spots, maybe we use Podzel to sort of outline certain areas um, of the buildings, but i um, not entirely sure about that. Also in here, I was gonna maybe do this carpet trick right here. Carpet trick. It's just gonna just gonna lay down carpet. <laughs> it's not a trick at all. Um, I don't know what I don't know what you guys think of this floor pattern. I'm not entirely sold on it. Um, so with yellow in the middle, maybe that that still matches. I think the white was still was still bugging me, but I could just block it all in. It's like a bearskin rug, right? It's very. Uh, very uh, outposty or fort like or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, of course, that's all just details that we could work out at any point. Change it up. But all right, guys, that's it. Uh, that's it for today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the episode was okay for you guys. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode. Uh, keep an eye out for more uh, modded Minecraft coming out in the scenic route. I will release a couple more episodes of that. Uh, this week and well not a couple episodes this week once a week so far still going it is a little I am finding it a little bit taxing to go from one to the other and and uh, to build but I'm gonna try to keep it up for you guys see what we can find um, but yeah I hope you guys like it and with the sunrise we will end this episode hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days I will see you soon take care this is Crimo see you later